This week I wanted to talk about Batman Incorporated number three. This issue was supposed to be canceled um, because of the Colorado shootings. However, my comic book shop didn't get the memo, and so I was able to get it this week. Um, it features Matches Malone, which is Batman's alter ego when he wants to go to the, into the criminal underworld and um, speak to them without them realizing that he's Batman. I think it works really well for Grant Morrison because he tends to incorporate a lot of stuff from the Silver Age and Golden Age, and Matches Malone just fits perfectly right in there. We've got um, characters like Tiny in here, who's like this little um, this little guy who looks like a child. I guess kind of has like the same thing like. Um, <coughs> Gary Coleman and um, he's got this huge henchman and it just has like this really old school feel to it which is really fun they're even in this bar with someone singing you know and it just looks like something out of the 40s or 50s this issue, this issue also features um, Dick Grayson and Damien's relationship as the former Batman and Robin as well as Damien's relationship with his father Bruce of course and um, I think it works really well all together um, it's it uh I don't really see a reason why it was banned um, because of the Colorado shooting. There's only one scene with a gun. No one actually gets shot. It's just someone demonstrating, um, demonstrating, you know, their power. And uh, and uh, the issue also is a really good um, example of how Leviathan is not just penetrating into um, countries all over the world, but it's also hitting home to Gotham. Um, it's a pretty good balanced um, issue for for. Um, the Batman Inc. arc seems to really be tying stuff together after last issue where we were just taking a look at Talia's history with Batman and with her father. And um, I think it's a really good it's a really good read. You should definitely pick it up uh, when it comes out um, next month uh, if your comic shop didn't already have it for sale this week. And I'd give it um, four and a half out of five stars. <laughs> Come on,